Ngayong International Women's Month, ibabandera natin ang ating kababayang Pilipina na lumikha ng pangalan sa global stage. Ito ay dahil sa kanyang pambihirang husay sa pamumuno ng isang higanting korporasyon na kalat sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo at pagiging kilalang pilantropo at civic leader. Isa rin siyang immigration lawyer at mayakda ng ilang librong may kinalaman sa immigration. At ang bestseller na How to Get a Green Card. At nitong huli ay ang Why Should Guys Have All the Fun? Siya ang naging kauna-unahang Asian women na pumasa sa New York Bar kahit hindi nag-aral ng abugas siya sa US. Chair at CEO ng TLC Beatrice International na nagkaroon ng 64 na kumpanya sa 31 bansa. Siya rin ay kinilala ng National Foundation for Women Business Owners noong 1996 na kauna-unahang Asian American women na nagmamayari ng bilyon dolyar na negosyo. Babae, isang sorsoganon, Pilipino. Kilalanin natin si Attorney Loida Nicolas Luis at tuklasin ang kanyang ekstraordinaryong kwento ng buhay mula sa pagiging tipikal na estudyante ng University of the Philippines hanggang sa pagiging CEO at isang global leader sa pagninegosyo. Samahan nyo kami sa espesyal na edisyon ng Profile Overseas Diaries sa New York City. Ako po si Dong Robles. What are the five business of success? First is hard work. Tapos sasabihin niya mga kwento niya na anong klaseng trabaho ang ginagawa niya. Hard work. Secondly is common sense. Pupunta ka sa isang lugar, tanong mo lahat kung anong kailangan. Hindi yung bawat isang tanong mo, sasabihin mabalik ka, ay naku nakalimutan ka ito. You know, common sense. And then the third one is resourcefulness. Okay, pupunta ka sa Kiapo, baha. Okay, maglangoy, <laughs> magbangka, even helicopter. Ibig sabihin, to go to a goal, ang daming mga lugar. Okay, kung ito hindi pwede, di dito. Resourcefulness. Apat is thrift. Ibig sabihin, you must know how to handle money. Hindi yung ang sweldo mo 1,000, ang gastos mo 1,500. <laughs> You'll never make it, lagi kang may utang. And the last one is faith in God. Okay? The, because whatever happens, nasa likod mo ang Diyos. Nasa harap mo, nasa tabi mo, tutulungan ka. So those are the five secrets of success. So, sasabihin mo, ah, bakit si Lloyd ganito? Kasi maliit pa kami, ayan ang brainwashing ng papa ko. Hard work, common sense, be resourceful, be thrifty, and have faith in God. Ito ang mga pangaral na kinalakihan ni Loida at ng kanyang mga kapatid sa kanilang mga magulang. Mga pangaral na naging gabay nila sa pagtahak ng kani-kanilang karera sa buhay. Sino ba si Loida? Siguro dapat tayong mag-umpisa sa Sorsogon because that was where I was born. And my father was a very successful businessman, Francisco Nicolas. But by 12 years old, He was orphaned. The father died, and the mother, who was a school teacher, had to send him to a relative, mga susara. And what was the susara? Very successful entrepreneur. May sinehan, may trucking, mayroong pang gasoline station, at mayroong pa yata silang fish pond. So, sa isip ng papa ko, when he grows up, he will also be an entrepreneur. At dahil sa pagsusumikap ng kanilang mga magulang, aminado si Loida na lumaki silang hindi nakaranas ng hirap. He started by having lumber. Sa Sorsogon, puputol ng kahoy, dadalhin sa Maynila, nabili ni House of Puyat. Nakita niya yon, pinagbibili niya siguro ng let's say 1,000 pesos. Mamaya, mamaya, Pag, pag nagin ng uh, furniture, aba, 20,000 pesos na. Ang laki ng tubo. So that's when he started 
Nicholas Furniture or shorten it up, Nickfer. So I was growing up, we were already middle class. We had the biggest, tallest house in Sorsogon and my father would go to, the, to come weekends. But Philippine Airlines, Monday morning, nasa Maynila to have the business of Nickfer Furniture. Paliwanag pa ni Lloyda. Kung di dahil sa mga paulit-ulit na pangaral, walang matatanim sa kanilang mga isipan. Kung meron kang mga natural habits, okay, it's because it's been repeated and repeated and repeated. So, the negative term is brainwashing. It's really passing of culture, passing of values. Yeah, that's really what's necessary. For a parent, kailangan, don't, you have to tell. You have to tell your children your values. Bakit? Dahil sa pag hindi mo sinabi, hindi niya nadinig. Something said is something heard. Of course, you know, sasabihin ng mga anak ko, ay, nako naman, nag, kaya naman ang nag. Pero alam mo, at the end, nasa, napasok sa utok nila. Because now, my, my sister, Melly and I, wow, Melly, we have become our parents. Because yung mga sinasabi ng aming parents, nasasabi ko sa aking mga anak at sa aking mga apo. So, that's, that's it really. It's not brainwashing, but it's passing on your values to your children. Isa din sa mga sinabi ng mga, my mother and father is always having high expectations for us. Hindi yung, we never heard, ay nako napakistupido mo. We never heard negative. Okay? Ano yan? Tanga ka ba? Never. Okay? So, laging, kaya mo yan. You can do anything. Parang ganun. Very positive reinforcement. So, ganun din. Meron ka din sa aming um, self-confidence. Para sa kanilang magkakapatid, modelong maituturing nila ang kababaang loob ng kanilang mga magulang. Aniya, laging bukas ang palad ng kanilang ama't ina sa mga nangangailangan. Even how to treat people, lalo na papa was poor. So, malaki ang puso niya kung sino man ang uh, mahirap o hindi masyadong marunong o uh, naghihigaw at Papa always had special eyes for people who are disadvantaged. Naka-impluensya din ng malaki kay Lloyda ang mga naging exposure niya sa eskwelahan para mas mahulma ang kanyang kakayahan sa ibang aspeto. I think also my training as a student in St. Agnes, in Legaspi, that's run by nuns, German nuns, St. Teresa's in San Marcelino, Manila, run by Belgian nuns, German and Belgian. So, and so it's the Christian ethic of love your neighbor, or a very simple way, do not do to others what you don't want others to do to you. Lola ko rin yan passing on to us. Ang masama sa iyo, wag mong gagawin sa iba. So it's very, very, yung parabang napaka simple. Alright? Kung ayaw mong sisigawan ka, di ba kang sisigaw? Kung ayaw mong uh, dididikdik ka dahil sa mali ang ginawa mo, wag mong gagawin din sa iba. Okay? So all of that together, I think, made up what I am as a student. So sa student, Kaya ko naman, bakit hindi ka maging number one? Salutatorian ako nung grade 6. Valedictorian ako nung high school. Cum laude ako nung uh, St. Teresa's College. Sa, sa UP, ang daming mga matitinik. So number 7 lang ako sa class. Okay, pero hard work yan. Hard work. At saka, yun nga, gusto mong maging ako. Gusto kong maging number one. You know, so you have to work hard for that. Yun ang mga habits, my habits, as I was growing up. At dahil sa malaking ekspektasyon ng kanilang magulang sa kanilang magkakapatid, naging malaking pressure ito para kay Lloyda. So I took up the so, law in UP. Ang galing noon dahil sa, that also trained me how to deal with people because I ran for, ngayon senator, ang tawag doon university counselor. So in order to win other people to vote for you, then you have to project, you know, who you are as a person and your authentic self and that you're going to serve them. So yun ang parang training ko naman on how to, how to win friends and influence people. In fact, 
my father gave me that book when I was 14 years old by T Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. So those are very, very strong um, principles of formation of my character. Isa pa, para sa mga nakikinig, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Yun ang sinasabi ko, when you decide to do something, wag mong iisipin, ay naku, hindi ko kaya, ay naku, I will fail. You fail already. Pag sinabi mo, baka ako, mag, baka ako ganito, baka ako ganyan, it happens because you have the power of words. When you say something, it has the power of actualizing itself. You know, so, you know, you're going to take a test, naku, baka ako mag-fail. You failed. So, when you're taking a test, I'm going to make this. Oh, di, abante ka na. Yun, yun ang mga values that I had formed as I was growing up, as I was going to school. Bagamat masasabi ni Lloyd na naangat siya sa maraming bagay noong estudyante pa, tanggap din niya ang kanyang kahinaan. Subalit hindi ibig sabihin ito, basta-basta na lamang siyang bibitaw. Sa high school, meron kaming backsmith, Bicol Association of Catholic Schools. Okay. Okay? Ang laman na niyan, intellectual, religion, essay contest, current events, or uh, volleyball, uh, the basketball, meron pa yatang ping pong. Anyway, contest. I was the contestant for essay. Okay? Essay means they'll give you a topic, sulat ka. Naku, hindi ako. I did not uh, place. Not, not number number one, number two, number three. Ang iyak ko. Ang iyak ng iyak-iyak na ko. So, but what did that do? Man, it, it lowered my self-esteem. But at the same time, sabi ko sa isip ko, okay, kulang pa. Kulang pa. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I continued to read. I, I continued to develop my style. Okay, correct grammar. And so, in law school at UP, I was not only a politician, meaning I, I joined the student council, I also was a member of the law review, writing, um, you know, mga theories in law. Mm. So hanggang ngayon, naroon ako sa uh, pinag-aaralan sa UP yung aking uh, term paper or na-publish sa Philippine Law Review that, that whenever you are criminally liable, you are also civilly liable. Marami pa kaming kwentong ibabahagi sa buhay kasaysayan ni Loida. Kaya't manapiling nakatutok, magbabalik agad ang Profile Overseas Diaries. Calling all Filipino senders, send money to your loved ones in the Philippines with no fees. Transfer securely and affordably from your phone to GCash, Cash Pickup, and all major banks in the Philippines. Receive a $20 free credit with SendWay by downloading the app. To enjoy your free credit, use the code PINTIP. Send money to your loved ones with SendWay. Maraming salamat. Hello, this is your everyday economist, Alvin Ang. Sa pagpapatuloy ng ating kwentuhan, sisilipin naman natin ang makulay na buhay pag-ibig ni Loida at ang kanyang pakikipagsapalaran sa Amerika. Lalo na nang makilala niya ang kanyang business partner na si Reginald Lewis, isang Black African-American. 
Dito pa rin sa Profile Overseas Diaries. College, you know, we had a group of uh, St. Teresa's mga, and groups of Ateneo. And we would have ang tinatawin, poetry reading session. All right. And so there was one, um, hindi lang Ateneo, but also from UP. Okay? So I had a class of someone from UP, Jerry Hill. He was so brilliant. Okay. So that's that's one. When I was in law school, I had a crush on the pre the our candidate for president or chairman, June Abbas. Okay. okay. But sadly, he is Muslim and I am Catholic. So okay. nothing will happen out of that. So, ngayon, when I was in law school, actually because of the way that I saw nuns, ang pagsirbi ng mga nuns like German. Iniwan ng Germany, pumunta sa Pilipinas just to spread Christianity and to educate you know, young people like us. Sabi ko, wow, ang ganda nun. Para bang very noble na you spend your life serving. So I was going to enter the convent. Yes. Notre Dame de Vie, founded by a French priest to train women to go out into the world as themselves. Meaning walang habit, Okay, you're a nurse, you go out as a nurse. Uh, teacher, lawyer, doctor. Sabi ko, wow, ang ganda nun. That you don't have to show yourself, I'm a nun. You're in your ordinary clothes. And then, you know, you, and then you can mingle with, with the people. Sabi ko, maganda yata yun. So, binigyan na ako ng date to enter. July 4. So, siyempre, kailangan sasabihan ko, I have to tell my parents. So, I told my mother first. Uh, I'm going to enter the convent. So my mother was, you know, hindi yung, ha? Ano? <laughs> you know, very calm. Loida, second year college ka na ng law. Dalawang taon na lang. But hindi matapusin. Take the bar. You are lawyer. Pag nagi ka ng lawyer, enter the convent. So you can use it in that, uh, you know, you can be a lawyer. Pero... Look, kung lumabas ka, you're still lawyer. Para bang your merchandise, your merchandise is in your head. Dala mo kahit nga saan. Sabi ko, tama naman. Tama naman. Nakinig ako. Kailangan makikinig sa mga taong mahal ka and who wants your best interest. Okay, so I finished. I, I joined the student council. I won the student council two times. The last time, I was the top, na top notcher. Sa, sa mga sa election as a senator or university counselor and then I took the bar nag-aral din kami dyan you know todo-todong aral and I passed it the first time then I swore in I'm a lawyer now my father was so happy so he sent me around the world ganito naman ibinida ni Loida ang kanyang buhay kolehiyo na sa bawat salitang kanyang binibitawan Makikita mo ang excitement sa kanya mga mata. Tanda na ang mga naging karanasan niya sa kolehiyo ay lubos na may impluwensya sa kanyang buhay at pagkatao. Come back to the Philippines, uh, work as my lawyer. You know, not that I will be his lawyer, but I will join the law firm. And then when you're ready, go to politics. Kasi sa isip ng papa ko, Sa, kami, sa aming limang magkakapatid, ako yung mas madaldal, mas, uh, you know, daring, okay, at tribida, at saka walang takot, uh, at sabi, tamang-tama. So, nung, um, when I was nine years old, nagpagawa siya ng sinihan sa Sorsogon, Lloyd Theater. Okay, para pag ready na ako to enter politics, I have already name recognition. Yun, yun ang kanyang plano sa akin. Sa anim na buwang pamamalagi sa Amerika ni Lloyda, nainganyo na itong maghanap ng trabaho. God has plans for you. Kaya kailangan, you have to be attentive. Attentive to the promptings of the spirit and the promptings of the heart. Makinig sa puso, pero gamitin ang utak. So habang narito ako, tourist, kasama ko si Mama, at ang kapatid ko nag-aaral sa Columbia University, dating kami dito ng September. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Naku, aalis, I mean, matatapos siya ng May. Eh, anong gagawin ko? 
So, naghanap ako ng trabaho. Yes, I was a tourist visa. Pero noon, 1968, hindi pa masyadong istrikto. Ang nakita ko sa Village Voice, Law Students Civil Rights Research Council. Wow, maganda ito. Naghahanap ng administrative assistant. Apply ako agad. Pero hindi ko sinabing lawyer na ako. Why? Because if you say I'm a lawyer, you're overqualified. Hindi ka kukunin. So, sinulat ko, law student. <laughs> law student. Bakuha ako agad. Na isang interview ko lamang, nakuha, nakita yata. Medyo matalin nito. So, I became um, a secretary to this civil rights law firm. And my boss is an African-American Harvard Law School, Ray Glover. At kalaunan, nagdesisyon na siyang mamalagi sa Amerika, partikular sa New York, lalo na nang makilala niya si Regina Lewis, na isa ring abogadong tulad niya, at kalaunan ay magiging asawa niya. Sabi ko, Ber, introduce ko nga itong aking kapatid si Melly to Ray Glover. Okay, so dating si Melly, in-introduce ko, sige, usap sila. Ba, ang bilis ng boss ko. Magde-date sila that weekend. Okay, sige lang. Friday, si Ray, Loida, why don't we have a double date? Me and your sister, and I'll fix you a blind date. Sabi ko, blind date? Naku, bago yan. Sure. You know, bagong adventure. So, ano, I'm, I was also open to, you know, to new things. And on that Friday, naroon kami sa hotel, nag-aantay sa ibaba. Ito na dumating si Ray Glover at kasama niya, Reginald Lewis. That's how I met Reginald Lewis on a blind date. People never impress me because, you know, as I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on the uh, marriage track. You know, I'm on the career track. Pero, what was nice was yung anong first meeting, wow, kahit na anong sabihin ko, may sagot siya. Kahit na anong sabihin niya, may sagot ako. So, very animated yung conversation namin. Marami kaming points of interest. Hindi ko sinabing, I'm a lawyer already, pero, you know, kwento-kwento. Pero nung sinabi kong, nag-uumpisa ako, kasi he's African-American, mm -hmm. nag-uumpisa akong magsabi ng about, you know, Joe Lewis, you know, Louis Armstrong, mm -hmm. just to, you know, see, sabi niya, parang, para bang, hindi na kinuntinue yung treating me as a black man, okay? I'm international. I'm international. Ibig sabihin, you know, I'm not black. I'm not American. Ibig sabihin, treat me as a human being. You know, as a man. So, impressed ako nun. Katapos, uh, okay, we went to a soul food restaurant. Soul food, parais, pareho, pareho, pareho ng Pilipinas. May mga, walang crispy pata, pero may pata. Ham hocks. So, yun ang in-order ko. Pero impressed din ako kasi imbis na mag-order siya ng beer o kaya, you know, scotch whiskey, champagne. Naku, champagne agad and we are just, you know, 26 years old. Yeah. yeah, so that impressed me. Masasabi nating mistulang isang nobela ang naging love life ni Lloyda. At kahit sa ngayon, na habang isinasalay sa inya ang kanilang pinagdaanan, Mababa na ang mo pa rin sa kanyang mukha ang walang katapusang saya na tila kahapon lamang nangyari ang lahat. I didn't expect to hear anything from him again. Tumawag sa akin so that he said, uh, kami lang dalawa. Okay, sure. Okay, so we had another very, very nice conversation in Greenwich Village. We went to a Spanish restaurant, okay? Ba, order naman niya, champagne uli, no? Very impressive. Ngayon, uh, during our conversation, na, na, you know, sinabi niya na nagpunta siya sa Paris during his second year at Harvard Law School. Merong charter plane na for just $200 yata, you go to, pa uh, you go to Paris and then stay in one month all over Europe and that's what he did. And then come back to, come back to school. So how about the, how, how, while he was in Paris, may namit siyang taga Denmark, Danish, who is an artist, watercolor. In fact, nung pumunta siya sa Denmark, Amsterdam, he stayed in his apartment because uh, Helga stayed 
in his hotel room in Paris. So, exchange sila. Sabi niya, you know, I asked him to send me watercolor to uh, Harvard and I will sell it. And he, it did well. And whatever did not sell, I kept it and paid him. Would you like to see the watercolors in my apartment? Sabi ko, yeah, why not? Hindi ko alam na pag yung palang mga invitasyon na ganyan, may ibig sabihin. So, I went to his apartment. Ang ganyan na all on his walls were the watercolors, okay? And then, he started to be fresh. <laughs> wow! Para bang ring bells, bang, 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 alarm, alarm, alarm. Katapos mamaya, kinarga na ako papunta sa bed because the, the li living room had the bed in the living room kasi yung bedroom is so tiny, you know, this is a, a associates, you know, he was starting as an associate in the law firm. Wow! They, wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> para bang, <laughs> para bang nag, anito, uh, dito yung wrestling, wrestling. You know, you know, he was a gentleman. He stopped. So, that's also admirable. And then he brought me home. I, wala na kaming imik, you know, because, you know, I did not expect that, that uh, when you go to a man's apartment in America, it means you are ready to go to go all the way yeah, all the way exactly okay so that night sulat ako sa kanya dear reginald i have i enjoy being with you but i will not have any intimate relations with any man other than my future husband i will remember you with fond memories by the nicholas <laughs> padala ko na ay salamat that's it pero hindi inasahan ni Lloyda na muli silang magkikita ni Reginald. After one week, tumawag sa akin. Sabi ko, wow, hindi nareceive yung aking sulat. Okay? Labas na nuloy kami. So we had a nice time, you know, as I said, in sync, in sync kami. Nung padala na ako, dadalhin na ako sa hotel, you know, you know, I sent you a letter. Yes. <gasps> What? You received my letter? I told you, don't don't call me again. Yes, Loida, but I will never do anything you don't want me to do. Nako, ang galing. <laughs> ang galing. So, we, <laughs> we continued going out, all right? But dang Christmas, inimbit na niya uli ako. Sabi, let's go to the Empire State Building because Count Basie is playing. Sa akin, sino yung Count Basie na yun? Pero ayaw, I went along. But he's big in the African-American community. Okay. All right, so we had a nice time. And uh, while we were dancing, uh, slow music, sabi ko, I don't think we should, we should start. I don't think we should continue seeing each other. Why? Well, you know, I may be falling in love with you. You may be falling in love with me. And I will just break your heart, and I'll break my heart because I'm going back home. Yes, sabi niya. But Loida, how do you know? How do you know? Ito na naman, ano? Tama nga, ano? How do I know? So we continued seeing each other again. All right. Then we did. I did fall in love with him. He fell in love with me. At sila ang nagkatuluyan. One time, we were on the subway. So, tanong ko sa kanya, Darling, what kind of wedding do you want? A big wedding or a small wedding? Sumagot naman siya. A small wedding. Where do you think we should have it? NYU, there's a small chapel there. But then he recognized what he was doing. I have a headache. <laughs> so, sinong nag-propose ako? Ako nag-propose. But that's not the end. As we were getting together, Ba, naisip ko, anong ibig sabihin nun? That we are getting married. I will leave my country. I will leave my family. I will leave my friends. I will leave my ambition. Wala na yung goodbye, being senator. So, I told him, later on, I can't go through with it. Okay? Because Melly has graduated. Uuwi na kami. And that's, I said, I can't go through with it. Ang hinakalang huling pagkikita nila ni Reginald ay hindi na mauulit ay nagbago. 
dahil mas nanaig kay Lloyd ah, ang tawag ng kanyang damdamin. Pero on the way, pag alis namin sa New York papuntang San Francisco, ang lungkot-lungkot-lungkot ko dahil sa alam ko, I will not see him again. Sus, kalungkot ko. Pagdating namin sa San Francisco, wala akong imik. I, th- I guess that's depression or you know, whatever, that I will not see Reginald Lewis again. So, yung mga kaibigan ko doon, sila Jerry Hill, Jimmy Ong, nakikita na talagang wala akong imik. You know, in fact, lakad kami. Alam mo, we are on the meadow, we are on the ground. Hindi ba green? Pero sa aking mata, gray. <laughs> I guess I was just totally, totally depressed. So that, that, that night, I was staying with uh, Jerry Hill, si Melly na kay Jimmy Ong. Sabi ni Jerry, Lloyd, if you're that sad, why don't you just call him? <gasps> I never thought of that. Tawag ako agad. Nasa opisina siya because we are 6 o'clock in California. It's 3 o'clock, so nasa opisina, tawag ako. Pagsagot niya, Darling, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> so, masaya din siya. Why don't you go back to your home? Sabi niya, come back in two weeks and we'll get married in Paris. Yun, yun ang plano niya. So, we reconcile. That's what happened. I gave up all my dreams because the man I met is better than me in all ways. Okay? I'm driven. He is more driven. I'm Atribida. He is more dr- <laughs> He is more daring. I am ambitious. He is more ambitious. Kaya sabi ko, wow, I've met my match. I will not find somebody like him again. Subalit ang kaligayahang naramdaman ni Loida nang mabuo ang kanyang sariling pamilya sa Amerika ay hindi nagtagal. Ito'y matapos ng mapagalaman niyang may taning na ang buhay ng kanyang mister. Bagamat may kakayahan silang palawigin pa ang buhay ni Reginald sa tulong ng mga medisina, mas ninais ng kabiyak ni Loida na huwag nang patagalin pa ang kanyang paghihirap. Ayon kay Loida, kung magpapatuloy ang anumang medical treatment kay Reginald, sa dulo ay magmimis tulay itong lang tanggulay na hindi kayang tanggapin ng kanyang mister. Ay nako, when Mr. Lewis died, I really was, that was like the end of the world dahil sa he was not supposed to die. I mean, he was only 50 and he was on the top of his game. And when he was judged to be, to have brain cancer, I wanted him to have chemotherapy, irradiation because that was the protocol. Ayaw niya. Dahil sa tinanong daw niya ang doktor, Will I get cured? No. It will just lengthen your life. Lengthen my life. But slowly, his brain will be cooked. You know, he will just slow down. So he did not, he did not want it. He was dead by January 19. So Maria said, I was just totally out of it. Dahil sa, you know, we were supposed to grow old together. So it took me six months at pasalamat ako dumating ang kapatid ko si Melly, dumating mom, Mrs. Fugit came and stayed with me for six months. And then I just held on to God. Alam ko hindi ako pababayaan ng Diyos. God will not leave me orphan. So hawak sa Diyos. Dito, mas nasubukang maging matatag ni Loida. Dahil ngayong hindi na lamang siya isang asawa, kundi isa na rin siyang ama, ina, at higit sa lahat, isang chief executive officer ng kumpanyang naiwan ng kanyang kabiyak. December 22, Board of Directors meeting, after prayer, very clear sa isip ko. Loida, take over. Why? Because pag nasira, pag nag-bankrupt, ako, I have nobody else to blame but myself. Hindi, bakit, bakit mo ginawa? No. Three fingers point at me. Take responsibility for the family. In my mind, it's not to create an empire. It's to create wealth. Okay? Kailangan, kasi ginagawa na niya yun. He was going to be go public or he was going to sell it. 
na matay nga. So sa aking isip, yun ang gusto niya. So I'm going that way. I'm not going to create an empire. Yun ang nagumpisa. So I took over. I took over the business. That board meeting. Liquidity crisis. Walang pera. Pang sweldo. Why? Because nga, Europe is down. Lahat ng mga, in, lahat ng mga you know, the income that they were supposed to turn in, kulang. Eh, ang aming, aming expenses napakataas. You know, common sense. Your expenses is high. Your income is down. So what do you do? Cut expenses. Increase income. Cut expenses, increase income. So common sense lang yun. Hindi ba? Okay, so anong unang pinagbili ko? Jet plane. Ang gastos-gastos. 3 million a year. Just to maintain the plane. Two, two pilots. Kumisan three pa. A stewardess. Hindi, group up na. Dami-dami. Yeah, that's that group. So, sell it first. So, yun. Isa. Ano pa? Uh, yes. Maraming mga businesses in Europe that is not earning income. So why will you keep them? Sell them. They are not performing. Sell. Isa -isa. We are occupying the entire floor of 9 West 57th Street. The solo building. Yeah. Okay? Ang ganda-ganda. Nakikita mo ang Central Park. Because I started to cut my, to lay off my employees, we don't need 30,000 square foot. I mean, what? What for? So I negotiated to move to a 10,000 square feet out of 30,000. So I cut it off. That's off the expenses. Plain sold. We have rented limousines to para inasundin kami ganito ganyan. We don't need that. Wala na kaming plane. So cut limousines. And then I have so many employees. That's what they were Mr. Lewis executives. I don't need that many. So, isa, isa, isa ko yung silang kinausap to lay them off and I gave them generous, very generous uh, a termination pay. Di naglaon na ito yung muli ni Lloyd ah, ang kanilang kumpanya. Habang ang kanyang dalawang anak naman ay nagtapos na din sa kolehiyo ng may karangalan at mayroon ng kani-kanilang mga profesyon at sariling mga pamilya. You can have it all, but not all at the same time. Ibig sabihin, I was running a business, it has to succeed. I have two girls, they have to succeed. So both of them at Harvard, uh, finished at Harvard, cum laude. So I didn't do too badly, but it's really Mr. Lewis and I. We, we, were, an, we were enough influence to them, for them to think, uh, to think right and to help others. Sa ngayon, Nakatutok si Lloyd sa launching ng kanyang librong Why Should Guys Have All the Fun? At bukod dito, isa pang proyekto ang kanyang inihahanda. My latest advocacy is in the Philippines because we are going to renew the EDCA, Enhance Defense Cooperative Agreement. Why? Because America is going to put up five more bases in the Philippines. Five bases, pareho sa Olongga po, there will be American children born of Filipino mothers. And if the father to, does not recognize this American, ako dust of the earth, kawawang kawawa, lalo na those born of African-American fathers. Mm -hmm. So my latest advocacy is towards equal rights for children. When, they, the, when DNA shows that their father is an American military man, the America should set aside money to support them while they are up to 18 years of age. And if they want to go to college, there should be money set aside in the Philippines for all of them so that they have learned a skill or they finish college so that they can be self-sufficient even if the father does not recognize them. So that's my latest advocacy. Sa edad na walumpu, mga simpleng bagay na lang ang nagbibigay kay Lloyd na mas higit na kasiyahan. Katulad ng pagdalaw sa kanyang mga anak at pag-aalaga ng kanyang mga apo. 
dahil kung babalikan at itataya ang lahat ng nagawa at naabot na ni Lloyda Nicholas Luis, tila masasabi natin nasa kanya na ang lahat. Tunay ngang siksik, liglig at lubos na umaapaw sa karanasan, aral, biyaya at kahulugan ang kwento ng kanyang buhay. Kwento na maaari nating paghugutan ng aral sa buhay. Saludo ang Profile Overseas Diaries sa inyo, Atty. Lloyda Nicholas Luis. Gayun din sa milyong-milyon nating mga kababayang Pilipino na nakikipagsapalaran sa ibang bansa para tuparin ang kanilang mga pangarap. Sana'y nagustuhan ninyo ang espesyal na episode na ito at nakapulutan ninyo ng bagong inspirasyon. Kung nais ninyong maging bahagi ng aming mga kwento, maaari kayong mag-email sa amin sa pmma.usa22 at gmail.com At kung nais ninyong balikan o hindi nyo pa napapanood ang iba naming kwento, You can always visit our YouTube channel. Basta i-type lang ninyo ang Profile Overseas Diaries. Makisuyo na rin kami. Baka pwedeng pindutin nyo o i-click ang aming like button, notification, kasama na ang subscriptions. Para kung may mga bago kaming istorya, una kang makakaalam. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay. Magandang araw. Ako po si Don Robles. Hello, this is your everyday economist Alvin Ang. banks in the Philippines. Receive a $20 free credit with Sunway by downloading the app. To enjoy your free credit, use the code PINTIP. Send money to your loved ones with Sunway. Maraming salamat.